okay, so I don't want to get in trouble here because I've, I've been working for Netflix and Amazon here. Mm -hmm. I don't want any MIBs from Amazon showing up at my door, you know? You know what, it was really exciting. I got the call on this, again, from my guys uh, at my management company, Mitch Mason and Jason Weinberg. And they told me there was some interest. I was working with a great agency called A3, which recently, uh, unfortunately, is no longer. But they basically um, told me there was interest from Nick Santora. Now, Nick is a really cool guy. Um, he created Prison Break and about eight or nine other shows. Really talented guy. So again, I, I requested a meeting. We talked about the show and, his, and what he had in mind. And, and then I screen tested, actually, after that, so he could you know, share the tapes, I guess, with the people at Amazon. So I was really happy to win the role, and it's a great role. It's based on a book called Persuader, which is one in the 26 or 28 of the Reacher books, I guess. Um, that's a type of gun, which was news to me. I learned that. I'm not a, a big gun guy. Um, but the character is Zachary Beck, and on the surface, he's like a wholesale rug dealer, but this guy's living like the Great Gatsby or a, a mobster like no other, you know? Um, so there's more at play there. That's just kind of a front, is what I would say. Um, you know, I have a son in this. That's also another interesting thing. I just had a son in, in my real life. Uh, my wife and I, thank you. We have a one-year-old son, Michael Anthony. Uh, and it's just such a joy. So that was really interesting too. Now that I have a son, in Reacher, I have a 19-year-old son and that's kind of how the story starts. Reacher kind of saves his ass in an, an opening episode of, of season three. And that leads to them kind of striking up a friendship. And he goes, well, you should come talk to my dad. He's kind of a mean guy. Maybe he can help you out. And then basically all I can tell you is that Zachary Beck then kind of hires Reacher. But the A storyline I can't give away, but it's pretty intense. It's really great. Um, and I think that people that are fans of the show, they'll, they'll be very impressed. I mean, they continue to up the ante on the action. Great crew. Um, and again, real pleasure to be working with Amazon. I mean, I just went from Bosch Legacy last year to, to this project, so I'm grateful. Yeah. How big is Alan Richard in real life? He's a big dude. He needs to hit the gym. I told him, I said, you should work out a little bit more. Yeah. You should, uh, you're looking a little skinny. Mm -hmm. No, he's a good guy. You yeah. know, he is. He's a stand-up guy. I liked him. I liked working with him. You know, it's interesting, too, because when I had the dead zone, I, I know what it's like to be the star of a show. It takes a lot of work. It really does. And you have to show leadership, and you have to show humility, and you have to work hard, just like the crew. You know, everybody gets up at the same time to go do the, to do the job. So, so I, could, I, I had empathy for him, because I could see how much he was working. He was a really busy guy. Um, but he's doing a great job on it. He's a good actor. He's also very involved, I can tell you, in the trenches. Like, he's very aware of camera um, and technical aspects. And he's very vocal about that, too, you know, because he's one of the producers on it as well. So it was interesting in both instances with Jessica and Alan, where they're EPs and, and stars of their own vehicles. It's great. It's great to see. Yeah. But that requires just more work. You just have to be that much more humble and, and prepared, I hope. Yeah. Mm -hmm.